Now, who you like playing on this game in particular? Not as a main, as for fun. Um, Bowser and uh, Donkey Kong shenanigans. Oh, you going with all the heavy shenanigans? <laughs> heavy shenanigans, man. Such a so, two such fair characters, you such know. Fair characters <laughs> kills you at like twenty five percent. Just like kill off the screen. What is let's, this? <laughs> let's see. No, I really like Corin. Honestly, I know we just watched her, yeah. but um, just from you know a frame trap perspective, I mean, you'll throw out that fair. You can either get them with another fair, or if they air dodge, go with an air, yep. and it pops them right back up, and you can do it all over again. All over again. And, that's and the, oh, Cosmos takes it to the next level, though. He does. He mixes up with pins. He mixes it up with neutral B, mm -hmm. that dragon claw. I mean, uh, that's actually what took the last stock and uh, kind of kept uh, – he had perfect spacing to where, you know, that last stock in the last game, he took no damage. Whatsoever, and that's what Corn really needs. That's it. is, and that's what Corn excels: keeping you at bay, hitting you with the tip, and keeping you spaced out. Make sure you're not getting too close to the bubble. And and, and he's really good. Like if he doesn't hit the pin, uh, Cosmos, he knows exactly how to get out of the situation. He'll mm -hmm. mix it up with the bear. Is not only a good spacing tool; mm -hmm. it's good f uh, movement change options. Oh yeah, changes momentum in the air as well. Oh yeah. So right here we have Mac Attack and Jeb that's oh, coming up. Jeb is from Pittsburgh or West Virginia. I Can't think he's from West Virginia. Okay. Um, he got um, second in doubles with um, the Ganondorf main. What was his name? Oh, uh, what was his name? I can't. It was great synergy between the two. It was. It was. Um, it was impressive to actually yeah. watch all of it happen. Yep. Um, but. Uh, Mac Tech here, I've been impressed. It's hard to find oh, a good. Talking about good Mac. synergy, uh, they what? They were they got third in doubles. Them yes. and Wood. Mm -hmm. I mean, he would just stay back in reserve just to cover that one option. And if they if he covers that option, the opponent is dead. He's got it, that forward smash, that down smash. He got everything. It yeah. is all kills. You and know, see, it, while uh, it takes. was it Wood was um, just yeah the stock. He was also the stock tank. He would keep the lives, you know, Mac attack. Oh, looks like we're getting into it now. Oh, okay. So Little Mac versus Bayonetta. Which I can't is, imagine this is a good matchup for Mac. It, no, uh, it's not, especially since Bayonetta can actually close the gap so quick. Um, but at the same time, Little Mac's a hit heavy hitter. And right. Did you see that up B by Mac? For a half second, I thought that was up B by Bayo. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a. Uh, it's gonna be an intense match. I can already see because. Uh, Mac Tech's been on a really good um, streak lately. Yeah. You know, he's been making some big upsets and at the same time being very impressive. You don't see many little Macs. Oh, and, and here we go. go. Oh, he's oh. got the KO punch, though. It might be an even game right now. It, 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 it might be. <laughs> and enraged little Mac is not fun for anybody. With a KO punch? Nope. That's <laughs> Just invoking the fear is enough. You see her camping the platforms. He's That's all you need to do. To stay away. <laughs> Feel the fear of the Mac. Up air? Oh, he oh, misses. Great misses. air dodge. Oh, he's getting in the air! Oh, Mac in the air? What is on. this madness? Oh, oh and bearing yeah. it up. Maybe Let's see. Make he's going to nair? Yeah, no. I was like, yep, almost. Almost. It, the matter. animation locks him into that side B too long for him to be able to do an up B. Uh, so doesn't doesn't it just go into special? It doesn't even go into special fall. It's just the animation. Yeah, it's just the long. animation just takes a long oh, time. No. It's kind of like Lucina's dare actually. Um, her dare is actually an animation where it keeps them locked. Okay. For a little bit longer than it should to be able to get them out of the situation. Oh, great dash attack coverage. You really don't see much Bayos doing dash attack. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great roll coverage option. It is. Yeah. I, I see oh, there we go. Oh, it, and that's it. That's, that's, that's the first a, game. That's the matchup, I have a feeling. It that's, is. Because all it takes for a little Mac is to get off stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I think I was right with my assumption. <laughs> <laughs> Just maybe. <laughs> I don't want to count Mac attack out of it, though. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. He is. He's, he's been a, a heavy contender, and I think the only downside is the fact that Little Mac off stage doesn't get very far. You need to have neutral game on point, and you need to have stage control almost 95% yep. of the time. He just got, yeah, he's just got to be a, a brick on center stage. Exactly. 
Yeah, you get him up in the air. All he's got is that first option. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Let's see what he gets. What trees have we got? Oh, great. Oh, I mean, okay. Good, good percent. I would take it. Oh yeah. Oh, and he's getting percent on his own. Oh, Woo! Well, two nice. frame it. Two frame it. Oh! oh! Two frame again. That's exactly why you don't Let's count see. him out. Let's see. Oh come on. Oh, that's just, Let's see. He's KO at, now. <laughs> I think he's really great at just out of nowhere he's doing these. See? That's, I feel like he's starting to kind of get a feel of this type of matchup. Yeah. And he knows it's unfavorable, but he's sticking to it. And that's exactly. what I appreciate the most. You like, gotta you respect the man. That. Yeah. Let's see, oh, almost gets the forward smash. Let's see, I don't know about that one. I even read that one. Yeah. Woo! Get some Mac Attack! Jesus. That was intense. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's see if Little Mac can bring it That's back. Great out of shield option. Yep. So I just noticed the dash attack uh, for Little Mac is safe in a way. It is. You hit it at the right spot. Because mm -hmm, it pops him back. Keeps, yep. you, keeps you good enough space for them. He's about to have KO. So oh, now Bale's going to have to be safe on this. But Jeff's been pretty aggressive this match, actually. Um, even with the KO, he's still pretty aggressive on edge. Oh, perfect. Micro spacing. Oh! I, th I thought that was true. Down it, tilt to... Uh, oh, it and worked. that's it. Oh, no, he's got his jump! I don't Boom. know what I'm talking about. See? Let's see. What do we know? <laughs> Which time? Oh, and and that's over. Yep. All right. So that'll be game two for that was, Jeff. That was a good competitive match, though. It was. It looked like... I. I think it's going to take a little one more this match for him to actually download Bayonetta. Um, and I think he's going to try it's, and figure it out because he took see, a stop. It, it is game three. He's got two or he's, he's, uh, he's going to have to do something. Yeah. Um, but it's not like he w wasn't uh, in those situations before where, yep. you know, he was down a, a full game, came back De and went Definitely to better it. game two than game one. Oh, yeah. Um, game one looked Predominantly Jeb, this that last one was pretty but, even. And you know, he's I think he has the same mindset of us. He's like, I can do this. Yeah. Because yeah. he I wouldn't count Mac Attack out. I think he still cool. has um, just good. those up, that up B. I don't know if it's gonna be Mac or Bayo there. <laughs> it, it looks identical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the aerial. Oh. See, my main issue with Veil is I can never fight her when she's just flying around everywhere. She Let's zooms see. here, zooms she, there. She has a bunch of get out of jail free cards. Oh, yeah. I think, I think too many jail yeah, free yeah. cards. That's <laughs> it. You know, it, it takes, okay. you know, you think the Zero Suits flip cape is a good get out of jail free card. Woo! Little that's, Mac got the first mm, stock. That's what we need. Right there. That's how you get out of it and Let's take see. that first stock. Oh, and he returns the favor right there. I, I think Mac Tech was going to do the same thing again, but I think he read it and just decided just to give it one air. That's all it takes. Four tilt is a great kill move with oh, yeah. Mac at higher percents. Oh, yeah. But um, another get out of jail free option would be Sheik's Bouncing Fish. Oh, yeah. Um, and like as we said earlier, um, a little bit with uh, back air from Corrin. Oh, yeah. Not Keep, him at, keep yeah. that space between yeah. you two. Because um, if you let Little Mac in, he's going to make your day a whole lot worse. Because that's what he excels at, is yep. getting in your face. Because, you know, you know, there's lots of bread and butter combos with a lot of characters. Like DD, for example. You can down throw to neutral air, forward air, up air. It's and then, a change. And then if you predict what they're going to do after that, you can continue on in the combo. Mm -hmm. The same thing applies with many characters. Oh, oh that was close. That was a good follow-up, though. Oh. All right, keeping it competitive. Are you hearing that? I am. Too. Okay. What is this? <laughs> uh, All right, we're good now. Yeah. All very right. competitive. This is. This is. Oh, this is very <laughs> doable. Baiting out the air dodge did not bite, though. Permits at this point, it just takes one hit from either That's or, it. one combo from Bayo, one hit from Mac, and it's over. For at least this map. They, they are playing safe. Yeah, forward tilt, great spacing option. Ooh, that's okay. Oh, forward tilt. There it is. Mac Attack takes his first game, taking it to game four. I yep. dig it. 
See? That's why I never count him out. Even if he's down right now, he's coming back. Let's see. <laughs> So we're going into game four. Uh, Mac Tech's on the board now. I wonder if he's going to camp the platforms. I th I think that would be a safe bet. Let's see. Um, oh, good but bread and butters. Already getting 30% on yeah. Bayo. I think Jeb needs to be careful, not look at the Ooh. fact that there's blood in the water. Yeah. You, you can easily <laughs> take it with one good string, but Mac Tech's making it hard. Oh, he's yeah. making them work for it. Now, if you if you get that sliding kick option, it's really easy to just shield and punish. But it if is. you do get it, it's uh you'll you're at least eating forty percent on it. Exactly, yeah. easily. I mean, as you already saw in the very beginning of this, Mac did like four moves and got like thirty percent on him, forty percent on yep. him already. Bayo is returning Triple. the favor. Oh, yep. got coming right. Oh, up. great. Oh, he saved his jump. Nice. Awesome. That awesome. was good. And he got the KO punch. So now Jeff's gonna have to be careful. Oh. The reads! That was insane! That was nice. Oh, oh. Oh, he still will survive. Thank you, Battlefield. <laughs> That's, That's all funny. you need. That's a funny get-up attack animation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he had his jump. Yeah. Okay. That was that was option. There oh, it is. He, he just says, oh, I want a bear here. Might as well, uh, you know. But yeah, as you Late. saw in that re recovery, uh, the animation would have stuck him in there, and he was just going to try and take her down with him. Uh, but that animation wasn't going to let him come back up. Uh, as I, wonder if that, the downside. I wonder if that up B there was a bait where he covers the forward tilt right there, but uh, Jeb was not biting again. Yeah. All right, so we got the got the strings coming. The combo. Nice weight right there. Sexy. Sexy it was beautiful. combo. Absolute beautiful. Oh, wow. That was nice. I, th I thought Mac Attack had that one. Ooh. And that, that might it? be game. What is this? I thought he was going to protect him. The style. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, it. that's game four. And that's game four. Jeff taking it over Mac Attack and Winter Simmies. This man is having way too much fun. He just flat out said, you know, you're all the way over there. That's, that's cool. I'm just going to bring it. you back over here for two seconds and kick you back back. <laughs> he's telling he's telling the Ohio boars West Virginia's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I wonder All what right, we got so next. We're gonna, we're gonna have to wait a little bit for this one. Uh him? Yeah. Uh, Spencer. Spencer. Waiting for Spencer? See who's next. Oh, so we're gonna see. Oh guys, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. He's in, I think he's in losers. This guy is smooth. He is a silent. Silent but deadly killer. Oh man, this is a grand finals at Columbus right here. Oh, sorry, I thought. Oh, um, it's not Chris. I, I, I thought it was colors. Oh, still Carinol. Okay. Still, still, this is a grand finals. Yeah. So we're still in winners semis. Uh, is it winners? Oh, yeah, so uh, I think it's winners semis, isn't it? I thought I saw guys lose. To, uh, um, oh, did he? Lose to Cosmos. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Because it was it's top eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been top eight. Oh, is this double bail? Are we for real? Oh no, he hasn't sat down yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say we're about to. I do, I do know Karenol has a, a secondary bail. He doesn't bring it out much though. I feel like a lot of people always have Let's like see. a pocket cloud. In see, my uh, you know what he has? Cloud. He has a uh, he has quite a few pockets, Karenol. Um, he's got a solid Greninja. Um, Greninja, really? Yeah. You want to think, and this is funny. If you know anything about Karenol's playstyle, it's kind of funny. But he actually has a pocket Captain Falcon, and he's actually taking sets oh, off of colors with it. It's pretty entertaining. Oh wow! It, you That's know, kind of surprising. He, and he, you know, he he really is. I hate to say it, but he is, uh, you know, a stereotypical Rosa main. But, <laughs> but I love I love him to death. <laughs> I love him to death. All right, it looks like we're getting into this now. A Bayo versus Rosalina. So just um, throwing them up. If I think correctly, this is a uh, favorable matchup for Bayo against uh, Rosalina. Isn't it? With her dash attack and her slide-ins can take out Guma, right? I, 
Yeah, I guess, I guess that's a, a kill option for a movement. When I, when I look at this particular matchup between these two individuals, yes. what I take into account is just the smooth movement from Geist over and over again. Yeah. And you can tell he just goes into training move and just walks around. Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, a lot of... Karen will just kind of invokes fear in you just by him maintaining center stage. Yeah. I know that he's but doing he kind of well. baits out an option and waits out for options. All right, so we got. I think this is losers. Yeah, yeah it is losers. It so is just got confirmation. Cool. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for a grab thought, there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he mixed up us. That's I why we're here and they're there. Exactly. I mean, that's probably why I'm not. I lost early. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Ooh, I feel like those shenanigans. All the shenanigans of Rose Lena. Let's keep Luma over there. Pull her in and smack the opponent around. Ooh, up smash. Ooh, nice. Just, Rose's, nice Rose's up smash. right there. Yeah. With Luma and without Luma yeah. is like still kill like no matter what. You know, you just hit up air on the C stick, whether it's on tilt, whether it's on <laughs> attack with Rosa, it's a good move. It's, <laughs> it's no matter good. what. Oh and he uh guys he just responded. evens it up. He responded back, okay. Let's see if Who's going to uh -huh. take game one? Shooting, <laughs> shooting with the heel guns. <laughs> yeah. Have you actually played Bayonetta? I have played That's Bayonetta. You know? Yeah? Let's see. I want to play it. Oh, they just oh. released it on PC, didn't they? Oh, oh. We got Witch Time. Strings coming out. And dropped it. That's all right. All right. Pretty even game. It is. Do you know if uh, that dash attack has serious cooldown for Bayo? Uh, I do not actually. Let's see. Because like I feel like because I don't see people do it much. No. And when I see it, I'm just like noob roll coverage option. Like, roll why? away. Yeah. It's like why? Why don't you use this all the time? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I think that's why a lot of people like don't do it is because it's a nice surprise. Yeah. They do it when they need to, or when they think and, it's right. And you know, look, looking at it. It, it's really not that rewarding. You gotta get a read, and it's it's it's, it's exactly. Not. Like oh, he misses it. Oh, oh, and he just goes instantly. Okay. This is it. Will he get it? Yeah. Boom. Guys takes game, game one. one. The Bayo. So I think that's one really good thing that um, Bayna is really good for. On that is being able to slide in from a distance, close that gap, and even if she messes up. She's still able to lead into different options. Yep. And, and, you know, she still gets so much percents, even if you don't miss it. Exactly. It's just like with other characters, like, I'm going to go for a kill option or a combo option. Either way, you're it's getting like, damage. It's like, well, I always get the combo <laughs> option, and then I might get the kill option on top of that. <laughs> Let's see. You never know. I could Let's be in the see. middle of the combo, which uh, time, uh, and uh, then uh, get the kill. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Geist feeling himself he is. a little bit. I mean, That's look how it. calm he is right now. And he's just like, man, I'm tired. Oh, it's a hard day at work right now. Like, I'm going to get that money. <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, that run back from Cosmos. Karen <laughs> 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 uh, will very cerebral player. Mm -hmm. He's very good. He will, we will do any means. He has, he has no shame. Yeah. No shame in the sense that if he will figure out a way to time you out or stand in place, he will do it. And you know what? I respect that. It's going for the win. <laughs> exactly. You got to go for the blood, man. Let's see. Go for the jugular. And we're going for Lilac. That's a, a, I think that's a good counter pick. If I think correctly, that is a counter pick. I mean, I would think, you know, Great coverage options, you know, up tilt on these platforms covers. Hits covers right it. up in there. You know, I think, you know, melee on Battlefield with his up tilt when you do that. Oh, yeah. You know. I play with Lucina and uh, Marth. Let's and see. Oh, we got a combo going. And oh, all right, so we got the combo. Go oh, nope. He got out of but it. But look at all the percent he got. That's what oh, we yeah. were saying. So it's coming, look at that, 73%. That's already Good. close to a witch time, Good. like some type of smash move, whatever he has. <laughs> A beautiful butterfly. 
<laughs> navigating through the air. Just puts all it, in space puts amongst it. the stars. Beautiful. Brings a tear oh, to your eye. Invoking the fear. Oh, oh! Good call out, but does Ooh. not take it. <laughs> he just does You're it again. again. The disrespect is immense. <laughs> He's like, I know you play Rosa and all, but... Uh, oh, I, oh, and the and tech. The, that was nice. Okay, okay. I see you. And up smash there again. It if it doesn't work the first time, it doesn't work the second time. Third time. Third time. Charm. charm. Yeah, that's Every it. time. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're saying, just that, that slide kick. That's all it takes, because, I mean, it closes in the gaps. Oh, that was great. That was... That was great. And now we know. Box. Now we know another option on Lila. Exactly. Uh, Just that little tilt. Uh, yeah. This helps him immensely. Uh, All right. So it. looks like they're both kind of playing. Like, Just safe pressure from Rosa. That's, that's a nice, that's a nice that bodyguard. Yeah. That's a nice bodyguard. With Let's see. Ooh, jab grab. Okay. Jab okay. grab there. I dig it. Woo! And he's on a spree. Time. He he said. He's gonna try to go in, <laughs> and look, he's getting punished for it with a witch time. Yup, and that's all it takes for yeah. Bayonetta. All it takes, like, oh, I have a second for witch time. Let me hit you with it. Just, just great recognition. Oh, it's also great it's character knowledge. Yep. It's also a big thing too. Nice job using Luma to get out of that. Ooh, Ooh wait, wait, how the nice. air does. I mean, that presence of mind and to actually execute it. In that, you know, that microsecond. I mean, that's all no, it's like, oh, and the up air. And no. now we'll seal it. That's, yeah. that's all right. game two again. 2-0, two guys. Guys. Uh, Colonel's going to have to make a change somewhere to try and see if he can combat Bayonetta. But then again, Bayonetta is favorable to a Look at Colonel's facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like <laughs> he looked at me. He heard me. <laughs> it's like what? What do I do? Who do I choose? <laughs> oh, he's he's sticking to his guns. I have a feeling like he I'm can cool. do it. I've seen him do it before. He can do it. I just think guys is That's doing it. a like great pressure That's and it. closing those gaps and doing perfect witch times. When Carolino's got like a roll going, he does witch time and catches yeah. him in the combo. Totally catches him off guard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. He knows what he's doing. I, thought he <laughs> it, I mean, it looks I scary for a second. <laughs> it looks scary. <laughs> I mean, I've tried to recover with Bayo, and I can't do half the stuff anyone does with Bayo. I think I've picked up Bayo twice, maybe. <laughs> I, 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 Enough about me, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's more about what Karen can do. Oh, we're getting those jabs. Oh. That's a great option to get through Luma. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, Karanul has lost Luma. I think usually that's a good time to right. pressure Rosalina. Is if you get rid of Luma, Rosalina can not do a lot of her options that she normally does. No. Oh, and Reed again. You know, there he knows. Is. Geis knows that he, he's loving those up airs on those platforms. All day. I wonder if he would, like, jump up. And do kind of like a tomahawk grab on the top platform. Oh yeah, that's a good option. That knockback on that dare with uh, Rosa, and he's Yolo. And oh, oh, a footstool. Oh, oh, it happens. Okay, it happens to the best of us. Real um, pulses momentum there a little bit. Let's see if he can collect himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes something like that can really fluster an opponent, but it takes someone mentally strong to kind of get past that and say, I can still do this yeah. and. I mean, and Karen can do it. Oh, yeah. I I've seen him uh, earlier today do even friendlies even with some characters he doesn't play with normally and still be behind and come back. Relentless, this man. Ooh. Nice. That dash attack with Rosa is so smooth. Comes out so fast. Oh. And be punished. All right. He tries to go for the read and uh, forward smash punish right there. He's, he's getting a bit hungry. He's, he's getting... He sees that percent high. Okay. Shoot those heel guns. <laughs> <laughs> Let me shoot those fingertips for you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get off this ledge. <laughs> Ooh, that was awesome! Course. That was some custom combo shenanigans right there. Uh, no, no, that's not custom. That's more Bayonetta <laughs> shenanigans <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ooh, and again. Ooh, oh, and is that it? 
No! And he's wow. hanging on for dear life. He's hanging on to this stock. Yeah, he's making sure he's taking the stock off of guys right now. That seals it. 3 0. Guys. Guys. That was impressive. Uh, All right, we got uh, what is it? a 3 0, a 3 1, and another 3 0. Yeah. So, it's going pretty fast. It is. Um, I feel like. Uh, oh, Crazy Colors is up. Oh, now. Colors is up. The other half of the Dream Team. Here we go. Here we Represent go. We Columbus. Columbus. We know. <laughs> what <up? laughs> I know uh, Crazy Colors is actually, I believe, number one in Columbus, if I think. Uh, I wouldn't right. be surprised. I think he's four on the last PR. Maybe uh, that's a little bit too high. What? Let's. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Yeah, because I think it. in uh, Columbus Weekly, actually, he usually takes uh, the top he's, spot normally. Typically. It's, fun. it's typically Colors and Carinal. Yeah. And they'll, they'll go like their secondaries or. You know, sometimes they won't even play Smash, uh, from what I've heard. They'll just, like, <laughs> coin flip first place. Like, uh, they'll, they'll, split, they'll split it. We'll just boom. Side. Perfect. Ooh, and we got Colonies. Um, oh, really? Last time I saw okay. these two play was at Shuffle, and it was a real nail-biter. Um, a, a great one was, um, I, I believe it was it was these two. It might have been a um, Diddy Kong from Wisconsin. Uh -huh. But what happened was uh, Colors got the shield break. Okay. And he, or not colors got the shield break. He got, he was in shield break, shield stun. Uh huh. Okay. And um, he he was trying. Co Colonies was trying to punish him, and Luma saved him. It That's was, what Luma's good for right, right there. It's just a save coming Good's right save. out of nowhere. So we're gonna jump right into this. Colonies versus Crazy Colors. Let's see. And I think um, he got knocked in the losers by Sylvanas. I think. Uh, yeah. Colors. Yeah. Let's see. He is. That Doing wall. some serious space. Connie knows right about now. that wall. That was awesome. <laughs> that was and absolutely like, awesome. Getting in between the, uh, rolling in between Rosa and Luma. Oh, yeah. Then rolling again, get that throw. Because, I mean, that's all it takes. Because, I mean, once you get Sick. inside that bubble that Luma's possessing there, you can easily Sick. punish Rosalina for not using shielding. Sick. You don't see a lot of Luma shield when they don't expect yeah. people to get past Luma. And those up air strings, you know. Colonies, oh. you'll get stuck in this vortex, and you, he'll bait out an air dodge, and he'll just continue it. You exactly. know, up air, up air, up air, air dodge, and he'll up air some more. I mean, Fox in general has That's such it. an amazing jump in general. So That's even it. if he hits you really high with a high rage, yeah. he can still hit you. Up air is like, or up air is like a smash attack in the air for him. Oh yeah, yeah, because it kills so so good. Yeah, and it's beautiful when it happens. He's playing very more. careful. I mean, just in general, the way he approaches this matchup is a good, great learning experience for anyone that wants to fight against Rosa. And it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty common to see Rosas usually. Um, in Columbus, it's very common. Very common for Rosas to show up. Yeah. Um, but usually, a lot of the time, I've noticed they all have pretty much the same fight style. Um, um, colors and Karenal are very different. Um, are they? In, in the sense of um, colors, prefers to jump um, it, when he's in a tight situation, mm -hmm. while uh, Carnal's kind of gets roll happy a little bit. Okay. Um, Ooh, and right there you got Colin's taking the first stock with only having 85 yeah. on his first Let's one. Um, Carnal likes to maintain uh, center stage. Ooh, that's Man, how that you even out. It up. Yeah, and that's just that's kind of. Volatile character, Fox. Mm -hmm. Great combo game, but he can get comboed on and gimped really easily. And he's so vulnerable, too. Yeah. When he's doing the up B, takes a second to charge. He's very vulnerable at the time. Yeah. And uh, you a just lot go down there, throw out any aerial. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're playing Link or Pit, you're like his worst nightmare when it comes to that. <laughs> just keep hitting him every time. Right, so we're great awareness. Oh yeah, and he's very cautious with Luma too. Like he's not just hitting Rosalina; he's also trying to make sure Luma's getting hit and off stage or dying one way or the other. Luma is back. Let's see what uh, colors can do here. Because it is very doable for either one at the moment. 
mean, oh, Colony's gonna be. You need that reaction. He just knows it. There goes the spacing. Oh, so just get it in between. He's so good at that. And it's not like really uh, Rosalina's. Ooh, that was nice. Real nice right there. Uh, that fair. I love that low per sense. If you do a fox fair, you can follow it up with an up air. Oh, yeah. That's. Eight. And is that it? Oh. He pretty That's much... Oh! The two frame! Two frame and it up. That was beautiful. And that's Colony's taking the first game against Crazy Colors, and that was a nail biter. Once again, uh, great, yeah. It looked like Crazy Colors was about to take it, and then Colony's responded back and made sure he two framed him for and, it. Uh, you, and you can never <laughs> give up. Yeah. <laughs> you really can never give up against uh, Rosa. What, oh no! What, you, I mean, Three, oh Fox. Two, one, yeah, both go. of these are kind of volatile yeah. characters in a way. Um, they're they're really get, good clutch. Yeah, once you get rid of Luma, you're you're aware of how light Rosa is and how big she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's. I don't think she's a very good character at all without Luma. And that's uh, uh what, what I've heard is like she's like she is treated like top tier with Rosalina and Luma, but as soon as you get rid of Luma, she becomes a mid to low tier character really yeah. quick. Because her range then gets dropped down to nothing, and a lot of her abilities and her smashes yep. don't do half as good as with Luma was around. You know, knockback, damage output, and then All she's just she's yeah. just so big and so vulnerable and so light as is. It's just so even like the smallest hitbox can usually hit her, um, and that's what I think Colonies is exploiting a lot because he's hitting her with like the tip of his hitboxes. He loves doing that side B approach. Oh yeah. Well, it gets him right in between Luma and Rosa very quickly. And it closes the gap. And uh, as long as Crazy Colors doesn't read it, it's not punishable. <laughs> I don't know what that forward smash was there. Ooh. Ooh. Man, and he is hungry. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Well, if only that was, this was melee. <laughs> <laughs> then they're already uh, gone. <laughs> Ooh, I thought he was going to up smash there. Oh, the tech chase. He's he's ready. Let's see. Got the read, just did not get the execution. Ooh. Man. Colors is not out. You know, Colony's just fearless. Oh yeah. He's hungry, so. he's ready. Oh and, and he just that goes out, nice. calls him out. Just flat out said, you can keep spacing all you want, but as soon as I get in, That's I'm it. getting it. Yeah, already Ooh. getting rid of Luma. Oh, oh, is he about oh. to do it? Didn't get the footstool. Oh, good. But he got a little bit of damage and stage control. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And then that, that fox, once you get that dash attack, you get that fox vortex going on. I feel like uh, if you have stage control, you know, you definitely are in a good spot, good position. Yeah. Uh, ooh. There's Crazy Colors with, making an answer. Yeah, with the Luma assist. Like we were saying, yeah. law of her stuff doesn't... <laughs> really count unless you Definitely. have Luma. I don't know if that would have been a KO. Not without Luma. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and just some immediate back and forth. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, it's still doable for either one of them. Very even game right now. Ooh. Trying to flip crazy it's colors it. off the edge. Colors is a little bit scared. He's <laughs> <laughs> paying very passive, throwing Luma out there. Okay, Luma's gone once again. Colonies is making it a very good point that he's not afraid to get in. Oh, and that back air will seal it uh, for hey. game two. Nice back air. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Nice back air. That's good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I feel oh. like Colonies uh, is doing something that's, that a lot of people should take consideration. Okay. Make it a point to get rid of Luma. Yeah. If you get rid of Luma, a lot of Rosalina players really don't approach. That's the time where you pounce. You yeah. Get them to a high damage. Get those burst options. Gotcha. Exactly. Catch them off guard. And two piece in the pod. Boom. That's right here. Uh, Carinol and Colors. Carinol uh. giving them some options. Uh, discussing. Saying, uh, your hair's getting longer, colors. It Let's looks say, nice. Is you it ever soft? consider a man bun or a ponytail? Or you just use a conditioner and let yeah. it grow out a little further. I mean, 
Who knows, you know? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Game three. Let's do this. All right, we're on Dreamland. Let's see. Oh, I love the, um, just the platform options, you know, up air. Like I was saying a little bit with Lilap, when we were talking to, um, playing on Karenal, mm -hmm. the Karenal and Geist set. Um, just, um, Rosa with tri flash is just a, a wall that's so hard to get through. Oh, yeah. And then there it goes again. Colony is once again getting rid of Luma very early in the match. Uh, but it's not like Colors is afraid, really, to still fight Colonies. Knowing yeah. Colonies is going to try and pounce, he has to respond and give by himself some time for Luma to come back. Uh, and that's where the spacing comes in with the dash attack. He baits you to follow him while he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... We do have a fox main in Columbus. Carl's is his name, and he he's really good. He always gets top five at our local. Okay. Um, but he he can't stand this matchup, and I'm wondering if he just watches the set a little bit, just looks at Colony's approach. Maybe he can um, kind of use that. Use that because he actually he does take games and sets off of the the, the roses, but he typically goes shulk. Okay. It or not. That's kind of an interesting choice to go yeah. shulk. Um, I think it, it makes sense. Bigger spacing uh, than Rosa. Um, also can kill early if used uh, the right sign. Um, but yeah, if he wants to just fox as a fox. No, I'm game. just I'm looking at this match and I'm seeing it's like, two zero. Colonel's Colonies knows what he's doing. Oh yeah. But, I mean, look. I mean, a, it's two zero. A fox versus Rosa. And, Unfavorable or not, exactly. he's making it look easy. Yep. Ooh, well, that's frame. what he's looking for. Maybe he's trying to bait out the air dodge there. Air dodge back air. That's a Larry Lurk classic right there. Oh, yeah. One thing I also noticed that makes Fox mains very impressive to me is the fact that when you short hop, you know, it's already hard as is. But a fast character like Fox, you have to be even faster than you normally are. Oh, yeah. And that's where Chris right. Colors takes that first stock Colors. finally. The infinite wall and getting him with that up smash. Oh, oh Colony is just waiting for that, man. Ooh. It's very rough. But it's never over. Oh, no, it's even. Hey, yeah, it's, it's even. even. It's never over. Crazy Colors can easily bring this back to game five if he wants. As long as he plays it smart. I guess he knows Colonies is getting in, and Colonies is not afraid to go after him. Um, usually at my experience, when I fight a Rosa, right there it is. Let's see. It's that wall. Double rolling back to center stage. That's typically a caramel thing. Yeah. And maybe they're taking notes from each other. <laughs> and that's the coach from right there. Like, I need you to do this. You'll succeed, kid. <laughs> At the three-minute mark on game three, roll at center stage twice. <laughs> you will get out of that option. That's and the back airs are coming Ooh, out. And oh, and there uh, it is again. Uh, back air. Let's see. But Rosa's recovery. I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cool things, Rosa's recovery, no matter how deep she goes, she still is able to come back. She's a Let's really see. good recovery. Uh, there is no hitbox, I don't think. No. But I it mean, is punishable. If it I, is punishable. Yeah, if I, <laughs> if I can ever get one of these two Rosas off stage, I typically go out there. <laughs> <laughs> I typically go out. I mean, it's not like they hit anything when they upbeat. <laughs> Alright, so here goes yep. Luma, trying to do See? work. He'll, he'll always try to roll in between the two, and then roll again and get a punish from there. And I think Colors is starting to pick up on that, because yeah. you notice that he's oh. not sending Luma out that far. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, and that's it. that will seal a 3-0. Colonies versus Crazy change. Colors. My Columbus boys are getting eliminated. It hurts. Let's say it hurts. Crushes it hurts. my soul. Karen Oil uh, Colors, two peas in a pod. Right great, there. great individuals. They're they so are. fun to hang out with. Oh, yeah. That's, I've only heard uh, nothing but great I mean, things. Um, it, I you, think I went to the weeklies once, and they were say, having a lot of fun. And it, no, they really are nice people, though. After after they're done T.O. and since they do T.O. at Columbus yeah. every other week or every third week. Anyways, yeah. uh, he'll always, and they'll always invite people to go out to eat afterwards. They're, they're very friendly and they're very accommodating. 
So yeah, it's always yeah. really nice to hear and everything. Um, but in general, I feel like Crazy Colors put in work. Let's you know, see. he did as much as he could for whatever he could do against Colonies. Colonies was putting on the pressure hardcore. And you know that Fox Vortex, it's just, it's so scary. Once you get up in the air, he'll just jump up. Keep Am I going to up air? Am I going to up air? You it don't sounds know. like cloud to me. <laughs> <laughs> cloud up air all day, you all across the yeah. stage. It's you over. Could, honestly, you could say that for Rosa, too. Huh. That's true. All right, we got, what is it, another loser's you match. Do. We got Sylvanas versus Geist. Ooh, okay. Bale versus Mewtwo, okay. Let's see. Sylvanas, didn't he use Lucas at one point? He did. Okay. He did. Does, um, he, does he still use him at all? I think I saw him use it in the pools. I think, okay. I, I, think I saw him do it in a pool match um, earlier today. Um, but he's running Mewtwo in this. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, and doing Bale saw, stuff. You gotta love that air dodge though from Mewtwo. Best oh, yeah. air dodge in the game. It is. Uh, to be honest, you can't really tell where he's gonna be. I mean, unless you predict it and like know it instantly. Okay. You gotta like read, read two times. Oh yeah. Bait out the air dodge and bait out where the air dodge is gonna go. Cause yeah. I mean, both his up B and his uh, air dodge make him disappear, make you lose sight. So you don't know where he's gonna go. But in your mind, you know most of the time you twos like to counter. And you know they use that side B to throw off the momentum. Oh, and up smash. And oh, okay. Mewtwo is light, but he ain't that light. Exactly. He just needed a little bit more rage. Oh, actually, I didn't think he had any. He was below 50 at that point. He, he just for that dare. He, he did that a lot <laughs> against uh, the Cosmos too. Just like I'm just gonna uh, throw this dare. Let's see. If you want to come lose. see it. You know? I mean, if he does it so quick, he gets right back on stage and maintains stage control. He does. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what makes Mewtwo a very popular one. He has a lot of options. He can get way out there. But if he feels like he's too far out, he can easily come back, take stage control real quick, and that's the first stock for He gets bailed. And, and you know, me, ah. people say um, Mewtwo is a glass cannon, but really he can... He can camp a little bit. He can, you know. He can space space out a little bit. Um, that back air is a great spacing tool, and his fair is a really good spacing tool too. Oh, and you know, always have a speak nope. of the devil right there. It right, is tied it up. So uh, new Smash Four meta in Columbus. One stock, four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no items. <laughs> final destination. <laughs> Are you an Animal Crossing fan? I used to be Let's old see. school Animal Crossing, not none of the newer ones. Let's unfortunately, see. I know I never played it, but uh, people get so hype over like uh, what is this KK Slider playing at night? Uh, yeah, yeah, TK. Or, or yeah, TK. I, I don't. I, I don't. love TK. <laughs> TK homeboy. <laughs> people get so hyped for the music. I personally don't get it, but uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> um, there's actually one meme I noticed on this stage that got passed around was uh, they had TK doing metal music, actually. <laughs> doing a scream and just growling and everything. It was heavy metal. <laughs> they, put the, they put some textures on him, some uh, some corpse paint, <laughs> some black metal corpse paint with some Oh, some and now guitars. it'll be game one oh, to guys. That Nair is such a great option. Oh, God. <laughs> it's painful to watch because, like, you feel it from here. Let's say, you know? Let's say, we feel for you. We know what you're experiencing. We know what you're so experiencing, man. That's... Because I, I cry every time it happens. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Geis has been on point lately. I mean, he I think he has so much knowledge with Bayo that, you know, he knows what to do, what not to do, and what's safe and what's not safe. Yep. And even if he goes for the unsafe option, he knows how to get back to safe options. And that just all takes time, practice, and character knowledge. And then Geis is just so good at, like, dancing around people. And that's one of the biggest things yeah. that I think a lot of people have issues with when it comes to Bayo is the fact that she can fly all around the stage and you can't touch her. Yeah, <laughs> and people, you know, people say that, you know, it, these options are punishable that you're doing. You know, we hear time and time again that Bayo's neutral isn't the best. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're dancing around your opponent and you have six, seven different options to choose from. What what makes uh, her not great yeah, at that I, neutral game? I'm just, I get confused. I mean, I play, <laughs> I, a, I, I, 
Exactly. And then she also has the witch time. That's another thing, That's too. Fair. Even in the neutral game, aerial, neutral. Oh, man. And catches shadow him with ball. that shadow ball. Catching it right in the chest. That's, uh, it's dangerous. You don't mess with a Mewtwo with a shadow ball. One trick I, I love when it comes to Mewtwo, and here comes the Bayo shenanigans again. <laughs> he will survive. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's how uh, you know Savannah's is feeling. Like that's it. I'll, I'll do this. It out. Maintain, maintain okay. center stage. Invoke fear with that shadow ball. One thing I love when I watch certain Mewtwo players, in particular Abadango, uh, he'll use the shadow. Oh, in the corner with the forward smash. Bam. That was beautiful. The fist from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you ever notice that she actually like undresses a little bit when she does these moves? I'm like, what? What are you doing? Huh? That's it. That's, it. That's her hair? Yeah. What is this? What? Yeah, she goes. I've never played Bayonetta. Yeah. She, 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 oh, oh, almost. Oh, wow. That's it. What is this character? <laughs> the, the, Nintendo decided not to go full nude with their super powerful attacks. I mean, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> that, 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 that is blasphemy. Maybe, mods! Come on, guys. I guess like, all we need mods. <laughs> Make it real. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a little bit of a campy Mewtwo at the moment. Kind of keeping that space at a very high kill percent. Um, might as well play it safe. Uh, I mean, he got him once with that. The duck. Yep. Ooh. And That fourth throw is pre pretty good kill throw. That neutral air is a good option when you're trying to just go down. Um, you can go down deep with it's, it. It's so safe. You can go so deep. It covers air dodge. It it's does. Just, it's just pretty, and it has, whoop, oh, oh. almost, and um, it has a decent knockback. It does. Yeah. And oh. that will kill. And that will it. give it to Savannah. Game two goes to Savannah's competitive set. It's it's, it's uh, definitely a more competitive set than it's the it. last couple. You know where it's been 3-0, 3-1. Savannah's doing the subtle M2K shake. Of course. Let's see. Ooh. Colors is still in it, or colonies? Colonies. Oh, okay. That's a. Uh, you almost gave me hope. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah. All right, so we're going to run it back to battlefield. Ooh, that down tilt, such a great spacing tool. Oh yeah. I feel like Mewtwo just covers a lot of options when it comes to uh, a lot of his aerials. Covers up a lot. His yeah. neutral air is fantastic. Ooh, fair, the fair Ooh. train. Try to go for the whist time, right but there. punished by a new. And he knows, you know, at the end of that nair, the last hit of nair, he knows exactly what trajectory, and he knows it's a. Uh, if he gets another read, he can continue on with it. He, he, exactly. He can get a grab, get the dash attack, bait out the roll. He can just continue on. And with a nair. good tech follow up too yeah. is what he can do with it. Yeah. Um, as you saw there, he easily uh, air dodged that uh, bayonetta shenanigans. Ooh. And ooh. Uh, I think that was a little bit of a flub. It does not matter Got though. It. Oh! The guy's trying to go for and it. We're just gonna say it was DI on the gods by Sylvanas. <laughs> <laughs> Fair and comes out handy. of nowhere and almost. Pretty handy hits lead. Him. Hefty lead for Sylvanas right now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And another Shadow Ball to the face. Ball. And uh. Charge looks like his, his counter pick working out for him, surviving that. And uh, that will seal the first okay. stock. I sense, I sense Sylvanas is getting some serious momentum right now. He is. Um, I feel like he's starting to get a, a feel of the matchup, That's even it. though it would technically be a unfavorable matchup between these two characters from U2 um, in particular. Uh, he's making it look like it's even, That's if right. not a favorable for him. Um, Good spacing between them, uh, and he's playing a good camp game. Very good camp game. Oh, it is. Here comes the witch time shenanigans, and almost gets it, but that's it. That's a battle, you battle for you. That's <laughs> it. Your lifesaver. Again! Oh, and is he going to get him all the way to the top? Oh, man. And he goes double. Yep, and that he was, gets him. That was good. That was. You know, every time I watch Bayos, I notice that 
they go for that and they don't always get it, it seems like it's unstoppable. Well, it's, it's not. It's not guaranteed. He's exactly. he's reading their the eye each hit from there. He, you saw he go to, went to the right that two way, times. Yeah. Exactly. And that's it takes real skill. It's always a 50-50 when yep. it comes to a Bayo read. Let's see. This ain't 1.1.5. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Getting that extra damage in. Yeah. That's always nice. Because if he gets that extra really damage, that up throw will kill him. Oh, oh, and, and the it. up smash. Game three goes to Sylvanas. Yeah. yeah, there was really no reason for Sylvanas to approach. Yeah. yeah. Just punish accordingly. Uh, I feel like just the up smash from you two covers so many options when it comes to that. Um, if someone tries to even roll, they get that little tip off the side of it. It was really, yeah. it, it, up smash it, is great. It is. Um, there is one thing that I know when it comes to Mewtwo. Well, I was mentioning earlier, Abadango likes to use it as a nice little uh, tool to where he'll jump in, charge with Shadow Ball, and then do an up smash right after that. Oh, yeah, the little. And I have seen that. And it's, it's a beautiful tactic, but it's so hard to get that whole thing to fit really well into right, a combo. So, uh, guys goes to Smashville. Uh, what do you think his reasons for this is? I feel like in this, he may be able to. I think isn't it a smaller ceiling in Smash Build than? Uh, yeah. So yeah. it might be an actual better idea, um, especially since Sylvanas uses the up throw a lot in the higher percents. Easier to kill even at 90. Instead of waiting for 110, 120 percent, he can get that up kill really fast. I think that was no, it was it was Bayo's counter pick. Bayo's. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It's right. Bayo's. So either way, technically speaking, they both use the same tactic. Yeah, uh, just small, going up small there. ceiling. Plus, I also that's think there's not enough uh, platforms to really have Mewtwo do a lot of tech chases or anything like that, and it gives Bayo enough time to be able to close that gap in a flat surface. So the I, FD. The actual surface is smaller, though, than the yes. field, right? Yeah, so it is it, small. You can just overwhelm. Oh, yeah, Sylvanas was kind of camping a little bit last match. Oh, oh and another and up smash. Ooh. Ooh. Not quite yet. Oh, and, and the Shadow he, Ball. That's three Shadow Balls yeah. in the last two games that he's eaten to the chest. Let's say, oh, guys is getting perhaps just a little bit too aggressive. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking a little too much, and he may just need to kind of try and pay a passive game a little bit, try and be a little bit more defensive, or just play out Duke Bay and the shenanigans, take it to the top. <laughs> From the top. <laughs> <laughs> and Sylvanas is showing that he is not afraid to run up on a Bayo. Usually everyone's like, oh, I'm just going to save far back. No, he just uh, runs up on him, grabs That and confidence, just, you know. I wonder how he is with the ladies. He just approaches them in the club. Like, look, say, phone hey. number, phone, yeah, down. That's it. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm a Mewtwo main. That's it. That's it. That's it. Like, you know <laughs> You know what I do to oh. Bayos? <laughs> oh, did I see you shadow ball? <laughs> you know that's how he approaches him, right? That's uh, it. I believe I heard stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks Ooh. like, and let's see and the jab, jab, jab. Oh, oh, okay, he got out of it. Yeah. I don't think and it just keeps on going! Oh. Woo! And Geis is showing that he is not done. He took it to See. game five. Okay. See. The silent killer. Geis. That's, and he just kept on going. I thought he was going to take him from the side. I, I thought so, too. I was too. like, oh, Sylvanas safe. No, you ain't. <laughs> I'm taking you from the top. <laughs> I think that's what he <laughs> felt. He was like, you know what? I don't feel like taking you over there. Yeah. I feel like taking you up <laughs> there. <laughs> taking you to the heavens. Gonna let you see him. <laughs> He's going right back. So I'm like, yeah, I had that game. I just got janked out by Bayo. Let's see what I can do here. I feel like that's what happens a lot in a Bayo matchup. That's I mean, it. you can feel as confident, get her up to like a good kill percent. One more hit kills her. And all it takes is that one little move <laughs> that gets you chained all the way up to the top. You know, it... it it's a, 
it kind of reminds me a little bit of like uh, you know DK and Bowser a little bit. You got you know you're controlling the pace of the match, and then they you just that get one ding move. dong they do that up throw. We're like, oh, I died at forty. <laughs> uh, like, uh, or all it takes is really the Bowser That's forward it. smash. That's just it. charge it up, That's smack. It. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, let's see. I don't let's think see he if took I think he can recover from this. Oh yeah, let's see. But that was. I mean, the uh, composure that Geist has is unreal. Oh yeah. I mean, he, he, when he goes to Columbus, he means Ooh. business. Right there, he right answered back. right back. And the captain Zach, here we go. He's, He's ready. So we're down to last stock, and game five on either or, and it's a very even match right now. <laughs> so this is a very yeah. exciting match. Oh, let's see. Give him the shine. I, I wonder if a weapon like that in real life actually exists. What, ankle heel, guns? <laughs> ankle guns. Heel guns. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like how you do it, just uh, flick uh, your toes a little bit. Just, <laughs> that's all you gotta do. Build into the heel. <laughs> so, Sylvanas is definitely controlling a pace at the moment. But like we were talking about before, you can control the pace all you want with Bay uh, against Bayo, Let's but once Bayo gets you in one little combo chain, oh, man, oh di, oop, that was nice. Suspect di, but he is still living. Don't eat another Whoa. Shadow Ball. Oh, and the up smash completes. And that's it. That will give it to Dying. Sylvanas in Game Five. Guys did not that's give up, it. and that was a very Whoa. very good competitive he match. That was good. Someone was smiling from that. He had, <laughs> he, he had fun. He had fun. I mean, it was rough. Uh, let's see. It was a rough ride, but he he took it home. <laughs> oh. We got Mac Attack. Oh snap! Did some a fan favorite? <laughs> <laughs> he I he is definitely a fan favorite of mine. When it comes to Mac Attack, I'm definitely confident. <laughs> So, who do we got? We got Mac Attack versus Connie, so that takes. That puts it. Is this loser semis? Or losers? Yeah, it's all in quarters now. Oh. Um, so, we got Little Mac versus Fox. Now, I am not familiar. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not familiar with this type of matchup, necessarily, because I don't see Little Max. So I don't know who Let's Little Mac it. is. Did they? I think I might have missed it, actually. I think I was in the middle of something else. I think a pool or something. Oh, the Mac took it. Okay. Oh, in doubles, right? In doubles. Um, it was... Okay. What was it? It was Wood. It was... Yeah, Wood and Mac Attack took it from the Colonies. And um, Sylvanas. Playing it careful. Yes. I mean, uh, you know, first he fights Rosa, mm -hmm. and um, now he's fighting Mac, and he's he's taking the same approach in a way of like he's just kind of staying in place a little bit. Yeah. Like when you, you when you think of Fox, ooh, let's see, almost two framed him again. Ooh. Oh, getting is he going to get getting it? town and shitty? Oh no. Oh, great tech coverage. A lot of options. Um, Connie's always has something for his pumps. Oh, that is a great. That's a Sakurai combo that's, right there. Oh, oh that's a, now we take the stock. Um, that is for Colonies. And you said earlier, Mac Attack actually took us took the game from Colonies, correct? It might have been in like a one v one situation in doubles. That's what I think it is. Don't quote me on that. Up tilt shenanigans. Up tilt and he knows Ooh. when to stop doing those up tilts. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and the four tilt. One, Great. two, and gone. I mean, it comes up so quick and so powerful. A little bit of a spacing tool as well. Just jet. Tilt, 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 tilt. <laughs> That's all it takes, really. Ooh, and a smash. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Only he got that tech read. Colonies is been on point. Let's see. Man, these jabs, these spacing tools. And he gets oh, him again with that. 
you would think they would And there's so much tech so just there's so much tech chase situations. Oh, and that I think that'll be it. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's little Mac. See as you can see, like I was saying about that, if you get him off stage, even if he does that side beat, he stays in that animation for like a second longer. It's like either A you have it or B you don't and you're just gonna have to accept death. <laughs> you win or lose. <laughs> That's all it is. It's all or nothing. Um but Little Mac has always been like that. It's go big, go home with Little Mac. See, you know what I appreciate about Mac Attack is his beard. I mean, he keeps it nice and groomed. It's the good stuff. Yeah. I wish I could grow a beard of that caliber. See, this is why I keep this. <laughs> That's you know, because I can't grow anything else. <laughs> you got some Johnny Depp going on. I dig it. Hey, hi, hey, hey, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I'll take that as a very, very <laughs> kind compliment. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so Colony's putting in some work with Mac Attack. Um, pretty even socks. He's going to game two. <laughs> He's camping the platform. It's <laughs> like, how you doing down there? <laughs> Do you need some feet? I got some feet. <laughs> and I swear, this this music with from the Animal Crossing series, people get so hyped for it. I don't understand. It, it's so soothing. Yeah, that's, so, that's, that's, it makes you feel. It good. really, it really puts us in the mood. Exactly. When there's a, when there's a fox fighting, you know, fighting a Everyone, boxer. Uh, Let's see. Imagine a fox v fox shines everywhere. You know, you know, I say that now, but honestly, one of my favorite songs was Swan. Was it Swan Song on Duck Hunt? I got hyped from that. <laughs> I got hyped. <laughs> there's one song I know I will always be hyped for. It's Star Wolf, Lila. What Star Wars? Lila? Star Wolf. Okay. Star, <laughs> Star Wolf. <laughs> oh yeah, we got Star Wars in this. What are you talking about? Let's <laughs> see. I was like, what? We got, we got X Mods wings, Y wings everywhere. <laughs> Smash Five, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Hamill. What's going on? <laughs> We should do that as a side tournament. Start as a Star Wars fighting game. That's it. That's it. We win the forward so tilt. Jab, jab. Means like Colony just took the first stock. And is going to the second one. When is he going again? They got the air dodge. I love nice. that. When I'm in that situation, I feel so helpless. I'm like, do an air dodge. <laughs> and then he reads it and you, you die. Like, You're just like, oh. oh, my soul is crushed. And the up smash and is going to take it. Seal with a two stock on game two against Mac Attack with Colonies. Um, Little Mac versus Fox. Uh, it seems like, even though it's unfavorable, anything with Fox, Colonies makes it look like, you know, he survives Colonies a lot. is a god. Yeah. Let's not beat about the rush. He's number two on the PR for a reason. It's true. It's true. You can't, you can't. Let's see. He's in the zone. He's closing his eyes right now, getting into Zen mode. Then he's gonna unleash it like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> With camp on the Let's see. Oh, 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 Mac Tech. Some pro stuff right there. Up to all day. Let's see. That was a nice wait. That was a nice wait. Because he could Whoa, have that was quick. Him. That's it. Back Ooh. air to down air. Ooh. Catching me off guard. And I love it when he goes in there. Ooh, Let's wow. see. Go for it. Oh, that Man. was nice. Good option. Interesting option. See, the cool thing about Fox's down air is not only does it have an attack and multiple hits, it also has a win box, too. So if you hit someone even on the outside, it has a small little win box. So you can and he gets him with some uh, upbeat Mac. Oh, wow. The handy. <laughs> he, got the K he got the KO box, too, right there. What was it? The freshman Bayo. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what we should call it. <laughs> oh, Ooh, the back air. Well, take it. The whip. Now we're down. Mac attack yeah. is has his back against the wall on his last stop. <laughs> Those jabs. Break. Combo breaker burst option. <laughs> combo breaker. C -c 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 combo combo breaker. breaker. <laughs> Imagine if this game had like the level of like. You know, visual display as Marvel vs. Capcom, oh, and, and you know the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> we could try to make it right now. <laughs> Combo, Combo breaker. breaker. Oh, was that it? Oh, and he's trying to go for it. He's 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 hungry. Narrow it up, baby. He's hungry for it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh oh oh! He's going. Oh! oh! Get some. That's Colin, how he's you taking do it. it in the thirty it's style. <laughs> Just another day at the office. That's all he got. Just just such a accept it. You know, he's, like, he's a youngin too, isn't he? I believe so. I think he's still in high school. He kind of looks like a youngin. That, that makes me feel a little worse about myself. Let's see. I feel older. I'm 25, so I'm old for it. 
Let's see. Let's see. It hurts. That's hurts.